Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is all about the new NARS Easy Glowing Cheek Palettes. I have both. This is the Couchère de Soleil. I think I'm pronouncing that properly. I don't know. But it's the darker of the two. And I also have the Rêve Soleil. Maybe I'm mispronouncing that, but this is the lighter of the two. So if you like to see me do a demo of these, do some swatches, and give you my review, then just keep on watching. So these two palettes just came out, and I believe that they're a Nordstrom exclusive. I picked them up in store, and they are $49 each. I was so excited when I saw these because last year they came out with a palette that looked similar. This is the Bog Disable um, highlighting palette, and... I think this came out last year, or it could have been uh, like at the very end of 2016. I can't remember anymore, but this palette is amazing. And it was a limited edition. It's sold out everywhere. I don't think you can get it anymore. Um, if you can, I will definitely link to it down below, but I think it is sold out. But this was one of my favorite, still is one of my favorite highlighting palettes. It's absolutely gorgeous. And the finish is amazing. So I was so, so excited when these came out, when I started to see promo pics of it. So let me just kind of show you side by side what these guys look like. So here's the Bach Disable and then here is the Rev Soleil and they're a little bit similar. This has kind of like the lighter cooler shade in the middle and then I feel like the darkest shade is very very similar. But you will notice that the newer palettes are just a little bit larger. So um, here is the Bonk de Sable and here is the Easy Glowing palette and you can see that this is just a little bit bigger, kind of peeks out and um, I think there's like a minuscule amount more powder. So in the Bonk de Sable there was a total of 0.11 ounces and in these new cheek palettes there's 0.12 ounces. So just a teensy, tiny bit more. I'm just, I don't know, I wonder why they even made it a little bit larger. They could have stuck with this format and been fine. Overlay here is a little bit more of like a rosy gold versus this kind of bright orange copper kind of gold here. A little disappointing is that these two are the same, it's hard to kind of get the right angle for both of them, they're the same uh, shade on top. So Clothes, I don't know which one is which. I wish they made the deeper colorway, the Couchère de Soleil. I wish they had made that maybe a little bit darker, in tone, or this one a little bit lighter. One or the other, um, just so I could visually see which one is which without having to open them up or turning them over. So, small complaint there, <laughs> very, very minor. A less minor complaint is that I don't find that these powders are quite as metallic and reflective as the Bonk Disable. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch, this is the new one. So this is the Rev Soleil, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all three of these for you. Here they are on my fingers. So those are the three from Rev Soleil, the lighter of the two. And now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the Bonk Disable right next to it. I kind of left a little bit of room, so I'm kind of, I'm going to swatch in between there, just so you can kind of compare. The powders in the Bonk de Sable feel just a hair softer, but there's the Bonk de Sable. I hope you can see on camera how much more wet looking the Bonk de Sable ones are. The ones from the Rev Soleil, while they're very nice highlighters, they're just a little bit more powdery looking than the Bonk de Sable, which is fine. It's just that my expectations were set with the Bonk de Sable and I was hoping that they were gonna be like, basically like the same palette, that they were just releasing the same palette and maybe tweaking the colors a little bit. The formula I think is different and these are just a little bit more subtle. So if you're into something a little bit more subtle, I think these would be great for you. But let me go ahead and swatch the darker palette for you. Those are the three. Now this palette I thought was a little bit closer to the Bonk de Sable than the first one. But these colors unfortunately are a little bit dark for my skin tone. I can kind of get away with this one. This one I can use kind of as a bronzer. This color, while very beautiful, if I use it on my cheeks, it actually makes my face look like it's bruised. So I think I'm gonna be using this one more as like an eyeshadow. 
Um, and I do actually in the demo, I will put a little bit here in my inner corners just to play around with. So I do have it on my face at the moment and I have some contour down, but I don't have anything else other than these cheek palettes. So you will see that there's obviously <laughs> highlight there going on. But let me stop rambling and let's get into the demo. All right, so let's put on some of these shades from the NARS um, Rev Soleil. Don't know if that's how it's pronounced. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and try this first shade and I'm using my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that right back here. I should mention that I have some bronzer on and I'm also filming um, my Viseart Petit Pro 2 eyeshadow palette uh, video, so I have my eyes done with that palette. The highlight is very, very subtle, and this is what I wanted to show you guys when I was talking about it in comparison to the Bonk de Sable. I'm gonna go ahead and use this center light shade, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here. And again, obviously you see a bit of highlight there, but nothing quite as um, dramatic as last year's palette. And I'm putting a lot of product on my brush, by the way. I'm like really digging in there and just tapping it off once. And then let's go ahead and use this last shade here, which is the darkest, most golden shade. And I'm gonna put that back here, just to warm up the cheek back here. All right, so those are the three shades from the Rev Soleil palette. So let's go ahead and just play around with maybe a couple of the shades from the darker palette, the Couchère de Soleil. Here is what that looks like. I actually played around with this shade, was it just yesterday? Maybe it was just yesterday. And, oh yes, I was wearing it in the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer Review, and it didn't look that bad on camera, but in real life, this makes me look like I have a bruise. So I'm not gonna use this color. I swatched it for you so you have an idea of what it looks like. I think this would look great on medium to deep skin tones. Just doesn't look that good on me. So uh, let's try and play around with these two here. I'm gonna go into this gold color and put that right on my cheek as well. And then I'm gonna use this middle color and put that where I would contour. Let's see if you guys can see that. And I have some contour down, by the way, so that's this color is not all from the NARS palette. <laughs> so there's as many of the shades that I could kind of fit on my face. You know what I think I'm going to do, because the Petit Pro uh, 2 palette is so um, reddish, purpley, I am going to try and use this one as kind of an inner corner highlight see if that works. It's not going to be a typical bright white one, but we'll see how that looks right there. So there's a little bit of like a highlighty glisten, but not too much. Let's try, let's actually try the gold one on top. That is a little bit more fun, that gold on top. All right, so uh, let me kind of finish up my look here and I will be right back to kind of conclude my thoughts about these NARS palettes. So all in all, I like these cheek palettes. This is the darker one and this is the lighter one. I just have, um, I guess I have really, really high expectations for them considering how much I loved the Bonk de Sable one. And you saw in the swatches how much more metallic and reflective these were. I think if you didn't pick this one up and you were introduced to these um, highlighters with these two, you would probably be very, very happy with them. So anyway, um, I think that they're fine. I like them a lot. I don't love them. And in terms of my skin tone, I think this one is just a little bit too dark. And right now what you see, I actually have a light kind of shining over here and you can really see the highlight. This side is a little bit more realistic in terms of what you're gonna see in real life, and you can see that it's, you know, that there's some highlight there, but it's not like in your face. Maybe it's because I'm just spoiled by the highlighters that we um, have been seeing 
you know, everywhere pop up everywhere. They're just so metallic and they're so, so shiny that maybe that's what I'm used to now. And if you want something a little bit more everyday, a little bit more down to earth, a little bit more uh, wearable, then, then this could be your answer. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review and kind of demo of these two NARS cheek palettes. Uh, please let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love that and I will see you in my next video.